Yeah, thank you so much for the introduction. And uh, also, I feel very happy to be here for, for uh, at least the six months, right? In I mean, in Toronto, so in fields for six months. And uh, yeah, my title is uh, Geometric Properties on Group Point and uh, the Applications to CC Algebra. Of course, so because this is a series of talks, so maybe in this week, for, for only these two talks, we, we, we only discuss the CC algebra, but actually, so uh, there are some other uh, applications to groups and we will see that. So actually, uh, so here's a, a triangle that I will present. I mean, I will also present later. So like, so you have a groups here and you have a CC algebra here and you have a group point here. Okay. So uh, the studies, uh, of these three uh, objects, okay, uh, actually, so uh, intertwined, so they, they also affect each other. Uh, okay, anyway, so we will see this later. So maybe uh, I should start with, uh, I'm not quite sure about the background here, so but I believe I should better to, to start with uh, the definition of the group voice. Okay. So uh, really speaking, uh, informally, so, a group point is uh, just the generalization of the groups. Okay, so uh, the definition. So a group point uh, G. So uh, usually uh, is uh, informally. Okay, informally. Uh, simply uh, consists of uh, arrows okay. and. Uh, points okay. so you have a lot of points and you have a lot of errors and errors just connecting the I mean the points so like you have a point a lot of point here okay so this is uh and you have some errors here okay it can, can be here and it can be here so so that there are some errors and you can do multiplication right for errors but uh, unlike the group case, now you your multiplication for errors. I mean, only can be defined in a partial way. Like so, uh, this is alpha. This is beta. So beta times alpha uh, is a lot. Okay, because uh, that means uh, you 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 opt a new error from here uh, to here. Yeah. Right. That's that's the alpha times beta, but the gamma and uh, uh, I mean the, the beta times gamma uh, is not a lot. Okay, so, yeah. so uh, yeah, I should admit that the theory of the group point really is uh, uh, very complicated to, to analyze because uh, everything is partially defined, but that's also the reason that it gave us a more uh, flexi flexibility to uh, to have more general objects, and we will see uh, later. So, but formally, so of course we cannot just uh, uh, state the mass in such a way, right? So, formally, what is a groupoid? That's right here. So, definition maybe a formal way. So, a groupoid. Uh, G uh, is, uh, uh, yeah, somebody called it a small category, but I, I usually just treat it as a set, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's a set, okay, uh, equipped with uh, a particular subset, uh, the G2. Uh, which is a subset of the direct product of the G. So uh, this is uh, just the errors that can be multiplied. Okay, so, uh, and, uh, and the product map okay. uh, from the G2 go to the G, uh, just the product by the alpha beta uh, maps to somehow you define the alpha times beta, okay. And it, it should be interpretedly uh, depending on your situation. 
and also uh, an inverse map. Uh, the gamma maps to uh, the gamma inverse. So uh, in this picture, the inverse just you you reverse your arrows. Yeah. So so yeah, it's just a picture. Uh, such uh, satisfying uh, the following uh, axioms of properties. Uh, the the first one is that so uh, if the alpha beta uh, is in the G uh, to the two, and uh, beta gamma is in the G to the two. The, so uh, the alpha beta then gamma uh, is also in the G to the two, and uh, alpha beta gamma is also in the G to the two, and then the product of the three arrows are associated. Okay, so and also, uh, so when you want to multiply uh, some three arrows, okay, which are multiple, uh, which that you in the situation that you can do that. Okay, so but then that means it doesn't matter uh, which two you want to do first. Yeah. So this is like uh, the good case, right? So second, so uh, the alpha and alpha inverse, okay, they are always, uh, and, uh, as well as the alpha inverse alpha, are always uh, contained in uh, this composable set okay, of the arrows. So that means uh, this is alpha, this is error, and this is the inverse, you can always do the product okay, for this. Uh, and actually, so we will see that, so the product of the two such, uh, uh, two such arrows will give you the point. So it has to uh, deform to the, to the points, okay, instead of the, uh, a strange arrow, a strange loop, okay. So no, no such loop allowed. If the alpha times alpha inverse, then that means you obtain the point instead of uh, a strange arrow. Okay? We'll see this later. Okay. Wait, what do you mean by deform? Deform means there's no such error. There's a no error. So for example, uh, this is alpha and this is alpha inverse. So alpha times alpha inverse is not an error. It's a loop. It's another error or not an error? Not an error. Oh, look, I don't think that's an error. I don't think matter. No, like no. definition they are, right? Like you're saying that a groupoid is just a collection of arrows. And then, well, uh, I'm assuming one of your axioms will have to tell us that there are, that if you multiply alpha, alpha inverse with B beta, you get beta. Yes, yes, right? yes. You write that as a third axiom. Yes, yes, exactly. But actually what I want to say is that, so the group point uh, consists of arrows and points. The points can be uh, regarded somehow as a deformed arrows. Like well, I think the word deform is, uh, is, is, is very uh, confusing. Oh, maybe okay. So okay. So let me change your word. So there's no such error. You well, I yeah. Think I, most people will agree that it is an error. There isn't an error. It, 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 always you can define a group by just in terms of uh, arrows. You don't need to talk about. Uh, and that's what you're doing anyway. Uh, I, I would write I would write it as two sets, but uh, but in this but what you're writing is you're you're only saying that they're only arrows, right? Uh, well, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's fine. What I want to to do next is uh, to distinguish another side. I call it points or the units. So it's uh, like the. Look, this is not a big deal. Uh, uh, I think that. I think the, the answer is that you can, uh, if you want to say something is um, admissible, I mean, uh, uh, we can, we'll say something a certain way, like no one is going to disagree. If you think we can't say something a certain way, a lot of people are going to disagree. Oh, okay, yeah. You can't is a bad word. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you for the other ones. So, anyway, yeah. yeah we all, I uh, mean, it's great something again. Okay. So the uh, the third one is that so as a Fedor uh, suggest 
This is not a commutative. No, no, no. So uh, for the third property, so that means for every alpha beta uh, in G to the two. So the alpha inverse times alpha times beta, uh, that's equal uh, beta. And uh, uh, you also have the alpha beta times the beta inverse is also equal alpha, uh, also equal, I mean, equal alpha. So that's uh, what we have. Okay, but look, if you have to write, copy these things down from a piece of paper, I don't think anyone else is gonna be able to hold them in their mind either. Oh, so. Well, you're not holding them in your mind, you're not copying them. And uh, other people don't have them in the paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I should put it down. Okay. But no, that's not. That, no, no. But if you can't keep it in mind, that does not imply that we can. So that doesn't help. Like putting down the paper does not help. <laughs> well, uh, there are um, nine uh, blackboards and only space for six. <laughs> No. <laughs> so I mean, at any given moment, there are at least three you can't see. Okay. So uh, then uh, we define uh, uh, the unit side uh, G zero okay, uh, in the G. So I, I call them the, the, the points. Okay. So correspond to, to this. Oh, well, okay. Some picture I. That's being hidden. Uh, say again, what? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, but I, I believe this uh, containing is stuff. You, you can opt in that the alpha inverse, then take inverse. So go, you go back to your alpha. So by using the some combination of this theorem, is this uh, three theorems, you, you may opt in that somehow. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, if you want it, we can add this. Okay. So alpha inverse, then inverse, you go back to alpha. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, the unit space uh, is uh, just uh, defined to be like the gamma, the gamma inverse, the gamma uh, is in G. Okay. And uh, then we can define. Uh, oh, we can see that the group point also uh, is also equal with the uh, two distinguished maps. Okay, so is, which is uh, I mean which are exactly uh, you have an arrow. So this is arrow gamma. Then you this is a so called a range map and a source map. Okay, so uh, which means the the, the source and uh, the range. Okay, so the source map from the G to the uh, the G zero is uh, uh, as gamma is equal, uh, which one is uh, uh, gamma, gamma inverse, am I right? It depends on your, uh, how you put those arrows. Uh, no, 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 it should be, yeah, it start from here, from gamma. So it's a gamma and a gamma inverse. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Do, if you, do arrows point from left to right or from right to left? I uh, usually I do from the right to the left. Well, that's not what uh, most people do when they talk about calibre. Oh. No, no, most people do from right to left. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. That's ordinary function. Yeah, yeah, that's how, that's how people do it. I got you confused by, by what I said. I write it as the other ways. Well, categories right. would always go the other way. Oh, but, but I, for, at first, uh, as far as I know, so. A lot of people, at least working in the group boy, they, they do from the right to the left. Yeah. yeah to, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know, but yeah. So probably 99.99% uh, .99 of people in this room know what a category is. And, and the group boy is, is often defined as just a category with uh, a very uh, minor additional problems. Yeah, yeah, that, that could be so, <laughs> but yeah. But anyway, so this is just uh, maybe a one way to, to do this. 
so well, true. Sure, but what's the point? The uh, point. Everyone will have their own way for No, in our most, I think in, in, the, in the group of literature, this is more explicit. Well, 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 good, but there's nothing you can say that there, what, which way is being done. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> yes. Okay, it's, but you can deduce it from how they can find their photographs. Yeah, if you don't like this, you can do from the left to the right. It, it doesn't matter actually. So it's, well, it, it matters so that we don't get confused, and so we have to fix notation, and then so you fix the notation. Well, I, can get, I can get confused with anything. The only time I don't get confused is when people don't say things. <laughs> Yeah, okay, maybe let's fix, fix this. Okay, fix this. So this means the source, okay, means source. And uh, the G go to the G to zero, that's the range. So it's uh, where your error will be. Okay. So the, the ending of the error. So will be the gamma times gamma inverse. Okay. So, okay, so that's uh, the language that we need. Okay, so this is uh, the good point. And usually, so uh, we we usually uh, give the uh, topology, okay, locally compact house stop topology on uh, this good point, so that we can uh, uh, we can discuss the CC algebra of this. Okay, so uh, usually. Uh, Oh. Yeah, some special errors. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, the, the picture in my in my mind. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe different. So it's errors and points. I I, I call it points so, or uh, units. So because yeah, this the picture comes from uh like the dynamical system. So you already have some uh, base size. So it consists of the points and the errors. It's just uh, the the translation. By the groups, so okay, so maybe that's uh, uh that's what I have. What I have, okay. So already, so uh, we uh equip uh the group point. The G uh uh I mean a locally compact house stop topology, and the way usually I mean at least uh, so at this moment so a lot of people will do i mean a further assumption on g so called the etel so uh, uh means so uh the g uh has a basis uh, of the open bisections i will explain what is bisection Yeah, so bisections uh, in which uh, a bisection uh, a set uh, is a set uh, B, so uh, on which uh, S and R are injected. So, uh, uh, the model for this you can also uh, mean think about the dynamical system. So, for any group element, okay, uh, then it will give you a bisection. So, I will explain this in the in the, in the session of example. So, anyway, so let's just take this. Okay, uh, as a maybe a language or just a, a definition. So, uh, why we do this? Because so the maybe the motivation. Uh, so in this case, so under this uh, topology, uh, then the fiber, uh, source fiber and range fiber. Uh, so uh, what that means uh, for any U in the your unit space, and you consider the G U. That uh, means the all errors starting from the U. Okay, the S R uh, S gamma equal U. And uh, the G to the U is just the all gamma. That's the, the 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 range gamma is U. Okay, this that are discrete. Okay, so uh, if you are 
I mean, the, the good part is that it helps. Then you, you optimize. Okay, this uh, makes everything uh, much more simpler than than the the euro. I mean, as than the general case to to analyze. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I believe so. Yeah, it's uh, because it's being asked it, for both the source and its range map. There's also a notion of our discreteness where you only ask for like half of this condition, and even this is more, this is more special. And I believe that so the, because the, the, the bisections in this definition form a basis, and then I believe from this you can optimize. So then you are uh, source and range maps are local homeomorphisms. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy, but it's easy, but it's the other takes time. Okay, so yeah, so that's uh okay, so that's the definition. So let's see some example. So definitely, so any group, yeah. Uh G uh, is uh, a good point, yeah. Uh, in a way uh, that uh, the unit space is just uh, your neutral point, okay? And uh, the, uh, the, 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 it's exactly the G times G, okay? So, and, and I mean, except your neutral point, so the other non-trivial uh, elements, group elements are just errors. Okay, so just, uh, this is uh, your E and this is uh, your G, uh, your H, or something like that. Yeah. So there's a group. Uh, and next is uh, uh, one second, it's uh, a dynamical system. Or you can even define a partial dynamical system. So uh, the settings that so uh, let your gamma uh, be a discrete uh, group, uh, and you have a continuous action. So yeah, I will not say too much about the partial dynamical systems. So for dynamical systems, you have an arc action alpha from the gamma to the x. Okay, uh, it's an action. Uh, of gamma uh, uh, locally compact cost of space. X, okay. So the, uh, your group point, okay, uh, you already defined or uh, you already is written as uh, this way, okay, as cross product, it's just uh, you you have the triple pair, so you have a uh, g x then g then x, okay. Uh, your g comes from the gamma, and uh, your x comes from the x. So uh, equipped with uh, the relative product topology. So this is a subset of the x times gamma times x. So uh, in this setting, so because your gamma is a discrete and your X is a locally compact hostile, then this, uh, this group point uh, is uh, uh, locally compact hostile ETL uh, group point. Okay, so the bisection, okay, uh, bisections in this setting, so consists of the, some disjoint, but yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe let's see just a, a, an example of, I mean, a trivial example. Uh, okay, let's, uh, it is useful for, oh, okay, maybe not a very good one.
Uh, so in uh, this group point, yeah, uh, the bisections like the uh, looks like. Uh, so you have uh, some of the G, B, G, B. Somehow, uh, okay, no, I don't think that's the right. Okay, so this is a bias action. So uh, bias action, let's change a uh, notation. Okay, uh, so uh, bias action G and way. Okay, so way where your G is uh, in gamma and the way is uh, open side uh, in X. Okay, so they are bias actions. But of course, not all bisections look at this, but yeah, they are bisections. So, and suppose you have a two disjoint. So go from a base. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. So you can have some disjoint, uh, we and uh, you, and you use a different uh, group elements. So then you also have a bisections. So bisections is just somehow like the, uh, you can use the finitely many, Group elements to translate some disjoint uh, open side. Okay, that's the best section in this set. I'm, I'm a little bit confused when the, um, the statement at the end that you have the tell. Yeah. And what, what did um, what did X is just a single point? I mean, um, I don't see how. Um... Uh, if X is a single point, so this is nothing but the group itself. Uh, oh. But why? Why is it? What? I wasn't aware that a group could be considered as an HL of people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the previous. Uh, so, but it has the basis of the. So our error is an open side. In this set, in, in the discrete group case, right? So it has, I mean, from a basis of of the the, the topology. Actually, the topology is the discrete topology, right? Oh, okay, but um, seems to me that. Um, all right. So if you cut down, if you cut down, so the uh, there's only one group uh, element. Uh, Oh, yeah, 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 you're, you're, yeah, you're right, you're right. It should be, maybe you should add some, some point, it should be open map, yeah, it should be open map, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But, uh, the thing is, a lot of things are not clear, for instance, I mean, um, if, if we uh, S and R automatically, you know, formally working, uh, it is automatic that the images are open, right? I mean, no, I mean, it, 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 you, you use the word formal up there, but this is so informal, Yeah, yeah, we, we will, we will, I mean, I mean, we'll get there, so, so yeah. The, the, the time is the beginning, so you don't waste people's time. Okay, okay, okay. let me give, give us a... Uh... You can excuse my, uh, my, my violent... Uh, uh, no, 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 so, so, okay, let me, maybe, so, 
Uh, I, I think you probably should assume the images are open, right? Because if you're going to argue that right, based on this, that it's a local homeomorphism, then you probably need to assume the images are open. Yeah, yeah, I said it. So you, some, somewhere you need to add it, that the mapping it should be open. Should write it down. It just depends. It's, it, it's quite hard to write out all of the necessary conditions, and even in literature, it doesn't help. Like reading things about this is hard. So yeah, it's, I guess. it's the kind of. Yeah. The group way is uh, such a complicated one, so <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so let, let me uh, let me say something. What we will do? Okay, so David, I didn't quite get your point. So are you you're saying that even if we talk about uh, no, no, it's, it's supposed to you because something is a homey market among the image doesn't imply that the image is open. So as the initial suggested, it's supposed you you just uh, say that your SNR are local homeomorphism, but the, from the definition of the local homeomorphism, your map has to be open. So that's that's a def part of the definition. Well, you're saying that, that the answer to my question is that uh, it's a theorem. If you just assume S and R are objective, then automatically the image is open. Well, I asked that question, you know. Well, that was, that was basically also essentially Ilias's question. Well, I, what I was saying was the opposite. Like, if you assume that the image is open and assume that there are bases, if you suppose it, then it follows that there are bases open. And uh, open. Okay. Well, no, I'm not exactly saying that this is also very closely connected to Ilias's question. Uh, well, okay, so. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. And then it's also connected to my question why are we reviewing the definition unless you like it? Oh, yeah, because uh, uh, this is because so uh, I was told I have a four hours, so I and I know that so such a, a definition is. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Speak for other people's patients. Okay, okay. Anyway, so yeah. So uh okay, motivation here. So we will study uh like the regularity properties uh of the reduced. Plus the product, I uh, reduce the group for SSC algebra and to test the like, uh, so when uh, uh, this guy yeah, uh, is uh, in this table. Okay. Uh, a lot of work has been done. I mean, before in the general group for setting, uh, the, the David, David Kerr, so the, the, uh, he did something. So in the case that G is such as the, the transformation group point. I mean, so uh, exactly comes from the, the dynamical systems. And uh, it's here. But so uh, there are two uh, points here. So, first, so not all CC algebras, so even some famous ones like the Jones algebra, like the AF algebra, cannot be written as a cross product okay? because the, uh, the, if you just consider the cross product, okay, you are K theory, your K1 cannot be trivial. So because there are a lot of unitaries there. However, so the, the K theory, the K1 of the James V algebra and the AF algebra are trivial. So you have to think of, think of that, think about it to find the group point model for that. And actually, so this is to be done. So people has have found so the, the group point model actually from part of the dynamical system for the James V algebra. And also, so it is well known that so all AF algebra has a group point model. So we just consider the AF group point. So, but then the question, the natural question is that so can we do in general? Okay, so for, for general group point, okay, so can we invent something to be, uh, similar to the uh, to the flavor of the David Kerr or even before the David Kerr? So the Matsui, uh, I mean, he invented the notion called almost finalness. Uh, which is also related to the topological full group. So, so can we use that, or can we do something better to show the stability of the James algebra? Okay, that's uh, the first motivation of uh, uh, what I have presented here. 
Okay, so uh, we will see the, uh, the, the properties later. Uh, second, okay, this is maybe for the CC algebra. Second, so the for each, okay, for ample, and I, I have to explain what is ample. Ample mainly means that you your group point is uh, zero dimensional object. Okay, so for example, the group actions on the zero dimensional spaces. Okay, so that's a, we'll give you an ample group point. For ample group point, okay, uh, one can assign a group. Uh huh. Yes. And so he said, "Going to do something analogous to the topological analysis, we should call the answer." I'm hopeful. Okay. So yeah, but but the, maybe the uh, uh, yeah, this there's no topology uh, on such a group. It's just a discrete group, but. Um, because maybe some the here here's uh, some based on some uh, historical reasons, so people just call it topological full group. So there, but there's no topology. You mean yeah. even for your topological system, just topological full group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. They yeah they call it topological full group. Figures where it is stolen is in its correct use and uh, and is in its original use and applied to something you mean something completely different. Because I don't know what an ample group wise is. What's an ample group? Wise? Ample group point is a locally, uh, no. So of course you, we are in the setting locally compact house of for ETL group point. Ample just means, so under this topology, it is zero dimension. Why not just say zero dimension? Uh, because I believe, so the reason for this is exactly, so there are a lot of projections or there are a lot yes, of- well, it's, it's definitely in the totally disconnected setting, the way it's out the introduced the word ample, but it, I think that this, this uh, is the terminology used to terminology somehow being perverted. But okay, fine. You, uh, you know, yeah, I should say so. So I, I just uh, read the, this such a notation from the literature. I, I don't know the exact reason, but I believe there should be just means there are a lot of colloquial size. Okay, anyway, yeah. Oh, well, that's a yeah. Oh, they open a new word, new word. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so for, for such a group, right, we can assign uh, such a, a group. So we will see this definition maybe uh, later or maybe even next week. So this is a we call the ample group. Ample group? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, maybe now it's called a topological uh, full group. Uh, yeah, full group and uh, figure called ample group. Okay, so anyway, so we have a group and uh, this group, so uh, there are two motivations. So first the one uh, is uh, it's, it connects to the K theory uh, of the CC algebra via the homology of the group point. So that's uh, actually so. So the the original reason that must we uh, define, uh, for example, the almost finiteness and uh, pure infiniteness or something like that to study this one. So because he the original idea for for him is to study the homology of the group point and uh, then study the the K theory of the CC algebra. So another uh, story is that so such uh, group point uh, such a group so provides uh, many many. I mean, the, the interesting examples of the groups, okay, like the, I mean, the, maybe the one of the famous, the most famous ones, uh, the first example of the finitely generated simple amenable group okay, by uh, Monona and Yushinko. So, and also, so the people also, I mean, cares about, so when it is amenable, okay, so uh, when it is sophic or when it is uh, blah, 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 so it has uh, some nice properties, okay, so, and uh, uh, what have you, uh, Present is that so we can use uh, some the geometry on the group point, so which has a cost geometric flavor to uh, study these two questions. Okay, so that's a that's a the main motivation. Okay. So maybe you can just uh, uh, keep in mind. So okay, so uh, 
Any, any questions? So maybe that's the background part. Uh, so let me see, where am I? Oh, uh, and by the way, do I need to define what is uh, group point CC algebra? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but he complains that it is too elementary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, define what is uh, uh, group for SCC algebra. So uh, definition. So uh, let's first consider uh, now our group is always assumed to be locally compact, hostile VTL. Okay, so this is our setting. So the our compact supported uh, continuous function on the group point. Okay, right. So we consider uh, this side uh, is equipped with. Uh, two operations. So one is a convolution, right? It's uh, actually it is uh, uh, defined in a normal way. So, but it, what you only need to to be careful uh, is that so you need to uh, to guarantee that your errors are okay, uh, in the in the G to two, okay, so that it can be multiplied, okay. So gamma is just equal uh, your gamma all possible decomposition, right? So we have uh, f alpha and g beta. Okay, so this is a uh, convolution, and the second so involution. Noted that there's a like it, it's important that it's a tau for the sum to make sense. Nobody promised you a priori that the sum is going to be discrete, right? Like the set of discrete. Oh yeah, because uh, our yeah yeah because our group point is ETL. Yeah 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 thanks yeah that's a very good very good point okay. and an also important point. So the F star uh, gamma is uh, defined to be the F gamma inverse. Then you take the conjugate. So that's uh, uh, the the uh, the definition. So to to make this okay uh, such that. Uh, the CC uh, G is a uh, star algebra. Okay, and then uh, our job is uh, to find the representation right of, of that of this guy. So of course you can define a universal one. Uh, because that means you 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 find all possible representation and take the uh, the super norm. Uh, but usually that is too large. Okay. So. People usually uh, cares about the, the reduced ones. Okay. So, uh, and like the group case, so uh, how to define the, the representation? Okay, so, uh, for any u in the g zero so we consider a particular representation so pi u uh, from the c c g okay uh, to the b of l2 uh, g u so g u is just the, the source fiber of the u okay uh, by the pi u okay f uh, the you have some uh, elements in the L2 GU it is exactly the F star uh, C. Yeah. So that's uh, the definition. And the one can verify that. So uh, if your G0 consists of the only one point, so that means you are actually dealing with uh, the group case. So this is uh, exactly the left regular representation. Yeah. And then, so uh, we consider. So uh, the direct sum or the diagonal representation of the of all possible uh, pi u. So find the u in the uh, g zero uh, pi u okay. uh, from the CCG uh, to the uh, sum of the all these uh, uh, 
uh, B of L2 GU. Also, I use a small uh, L2 because we are considering the, uh, we are dealing with uh, the ETL group, right? so that everything is discrete. So we can do this. And then we take the colloid with respect to uh, this representation. So the, uh, so take the colloid. Sorry, what is the G substitution for the G? Uh, say again? What is? On, well, on the right hand side. Uh, this is the L2 GU. Instead of arrows, that's star symbol. Uh, yeah, the GU is just the uh, gamma and the S gamma equal U. Yeah, yeah. So all, all arrows starting from U. Okay. Yeah. So take closure. Uh, uh, so, uh, I mean, so in, in the euro sense, so uh, one optin. So the 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 reduced group point, this algebra, okay. and as I said, so suppose you are dealing with a group case, uh, the high U is nothing but the left regular representation, and then what you obtain is a reduced group cis algebra, okay. And the, the the last trivial fact, okay, is that so if you want to do the uh, transformation group point, so that means uh, you are suppose you want to do uh, the dynamical systems. So what you have is exactly the cross product. I mean, the reduced cross product. Okay. So. Oh no, it's just a sub norm. Sub norm. So it's just a. Uh, yes. Yes. You. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I should should mention this. So. Yeah. How you? Uh, yeah. You should make sure that so this is well defined, but uh, it is. Uh, you should do some calculation, and I, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd rather see a calculation than all of these definitions. Yeah. You... Yes. Oh, well, why, why would it be uh, you mean the pi UF? Yeah. Uh, the soup, uh, let me see. So, uh, this operator norm. Why would that be a continuous function? Oh, this operator norm. So oh. actually, so yeah, this is bigger than the infinity norm. Yeah, yeah. But on some particular side, on like the bisections, so this norm are, are equal. Okay, yeah. So, but in general, you you, you have this. So yeah. So it has complex support. Do you have to remember what this Yes. Event from if the norm were most the norm of that, then you'd be invisible. Then if it's bigger than the norm of that, then how, what's the upper bound? The upper bound, uh, yeah, actually, I forget the, the detail, but well, yeah, but yeah, as I said, I don't mind forgetting the definitions, I want to review the detail if we're going to review any. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Yes, I mean, so, uh, I so I believe I have finished. It's been too indefinite. We've had an hour of past already. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, I will state some uh, results in, in next. Uh, yeah. I wish you could say uh, in the last half hour, I have stated such and such and such and such. Yeah, sure, sure. Spend time on uh, in the next two days. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I will actually, I will state theorems in next put, one hour. Put everything in the future, which I think is not realistic. Okay. Well, <laughs> if, if, you, if you let him continue, then you will say. Sorry? If you let him continue, then you will say. But we're over. We're just, 
finished for the first hour. Yeah, that is true. Would, would you like to uh, do something? Or would you like to take a break? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's uh, take a break. Yeah, sorry. Yeah.